back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Christina Barrientos and I do makeup and lifestyle stuff. Yes. So, you might be wondering, why she got a full face makeup on if she's doing a foundation review? I have somewhere to go. I do, I do, I do. So what I did was my usual base makeup routine. If you need an idea of how that works, go back to one of my other videos and just add this into the equation instead of whatever foundation I was using. The foundation that we're going to be experiencing today, not necessarily reviewing, because I'm not going to make a judgment on this foundation. The foundation we're experiencing is the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. All right, this is what she looks like. This is the usual NARS packaging, beautiful black with the white font. I love it, okay? And then you've got this nice tiny glass bottle just to give you an idea of how small it is or how not small it is. This is their other latest foundation, the soft matte one. Anyway, so I put this on and I'm actually going to take you guys with me today and tell you how I'm feeling in this foundation, my updates and things like that. And whether or not I feel like it's for me and who I believe it would be best for in my professional opinion. <laughs> okay, so just to keep, make it very clear, I have the shade Caracas. It says, um, MD 3.3. I don't know if that's another term that they have for the shades or if that's how they do their batches. Like on MAC foundations, it tells you what batch it came from. But it comes with this nice little pump, like the usual. Beautiful glass packaging again, same lid. And it says it's a light reflecting foundation and be sure to shake it well. If you've been following me for a while, you know that I shake all my foundations because sometimes the formulas need a little help. And usually when they're more fluid like this, it requires that you shake them. So before I head out, because I'm supposed to be going to brunch and I'm going to be holy. <laughs> I'm just going to show y'all what it looks like. I'm drinking coffee. Milky and squeaky. It's like my head. So this shade, in my opinion, is not my shade. <laughs> but when do I ever pick up my shade, though? I don't. I'm sure they do have something for me. I do love NARS specifically for all of complected people. But this is what Caracas looks like. She is on the bronzy side, y'all. And the foundation itself, in my opinion, is about mm, light to medium coverage. It's buildable, but I don't think it's buildable enough to prevent you from having creases if you have smile lines or anything like that. And that's what the coverage looks like. I mean, I don't really have too much going on on my hand in general, but that's what it looks like. When I've seen other people put this on, it looked absolutely gorgeous on them, but for the most part, everyone I've seen wearing it has clear, a clear, or not even a clear complexion, an even complexion, meaning they don't have hyperpigmentation, um, breakouts or anything like that. And so y'all know me, I have all of that. I don't break out as much as I used to, even though I am acne prone, but I think that has more to do with the fact that I'm not using products that have ingredients that will irritate my skin, as well as the fact that my breakouts and things are hormonal. So that's just something to keep in mind. Right off the bat, I would say with how luminous it is, it would look incredibly beautiful on somebody who has more textured skin. I know for the most part, when you have acne, your goals initially are to dry your skin out and to look as matte and flat as possible. But these sort of formulas really complement more textured skin. So I think if you have, um, what's it called? Like if you have any texture or if your skin is acne prone, you'll appreciate how lightweight this is and how, of course, it reflects light. So it'll make your skin look radiant, which is what we want, right? We don't want to be looking at here, crusty. I'm gonna zoom in so y'all can see how my face looks. And like I mentioned, if you wanna know my base routine, it literally has not changed for the last year. Just go see one of my other videos to see what I included with this um, and subtract the foundation that I'm wearing in the other video. Yes, yes. <laughs> I'm zooming in. I'm zooming in so you can see my gosh darn face, all right? Excuse me if this is actually your, um, the way that you speak. I do not mean to offend you. I do like doing this though. So anyway, this is how my base makeup is looking. Um, I mean, it's light reflecting. And anytime you have on a product that's supposed to reflect light, it's going to look incredible on camera. In person, I don't know. 
but that's what we're going to find out today. So this is how it looks on me. You can see that I have my hyperpigmentation back here and of course that trickles onto the rest of my face. So I've got quite a bit of coverage but that came also from my concealer and my uh, foundation that I used to bronze tool than the actual foundation itself. I think I wound up using about three pumps which is more than the usual for me even though I'm a cake face but this is how my face is looking nice and smooth. My only concern, alright, let me just keep it real with y'all. My only concern with this foundation is creasing. And you know, if y'all didn't know, that is one of my biggest issues with makeup in general. Not only because, you know, it just doesn't look good and you have to wind up touching up if the formula allows you to, but also because I've had products that don't crease on me and that's sort of kind of make or break for me. When it comes to creasing, for me, it's my smile lines because I do talk a lot and I'm very animated. And when I do choose to smile, because not everybody is worth the wrinkles, <laughs> period, I don't want my foundation creasing and cracking on me. So that's my only concern with this. I want to see how long it lasts. I want to see if it creases in my smile lines, any sort of separation or it breaking apart. And then other than that, I have high hopes for this. I think NARS does a really great job of formulating their products. And if you pay attention and don't just jump on the wave, you can get something that really works well for you. So. Anywho, I'm going to go to brunch. Today's shenanigans include going to brunch, going to event downtown Dallas for K Medics, and then we're going to go see Noah perform and do his solo. And if you watch my vlog, you know who that is. So, let's go. Let's go to it. I gotta feed the animals too. <laughs> Hello you guys. So I don't know what hour this is for this foundation, but this is how she's looking. Okay. Um, let me see. Okay, so I'm not getting any creasing, which is what I was concerned about, like I told y'all earlier. Okay, there we go. You can see my face now. Yes, honey. Oh. I got a little shine going on my nose, but I don't mind that at all. Girl, wait a minute. <laughs> it still feels very comfortable, super lightweight on my face, even with the combination of all the other stuff that I like to wear. And um, it's giving flawless as far as foundation's concerned. I'm, I'm very surprised that there's no creasing. Very surprised. My eyeshadow did crease though. Cause I didn't prime my eyes right today, but that's all right. That's all right. Anyway, I'll check in with y'all at the end of the evening and we'll see just how long this lasts. Okay, you guys, hello. It is now 12.54. So it has been quite a day. <laughs> I'll count how many hours it's been since I put this on, but this is what my face is looking like. Sorry, I'm looking at my monitor. As you can see, this foundation is still very much reflecting light as it says in the name of the product. Um, but one thing that stood out to me the most about this, just from looking at myself in the mirror, is number one, I don't have any creasing in my smile lines. I have been talking and laughing and smiling all day long, no creasing. Very unusual. I'm definitely going to have to test that out again. Um, in my T-zone, where I would normally be a little bit more luminous from, you know, producing sebum or what people like to call oil, I'm definitely nice and radiant up in here. Um, in my forehead, not too bad. As far as texture is concerned, I mean, you can definitely see the texture of my skin, but I have human skin not plastic so that's to be expected needless to say it's a beautiful product and i can't believe i've had it on for this long and still look decent like it's crazy to me i even ate food i had drinks i had food um i fell asleep in my car <laughs> And it still looks good. Let me pick up my mirror real quick so I can tell y'all anything else that I'm noticing. I'm going to recommend this foundation for anyone who likes to wear formulas that are lightweight 
and light to medium coverage. It's buildable, but obviously with it being light, reflect, light reflecting or luminous, if you build it up too much, it's going to slide off of your face, okay? Um, I'd also like to recommend this for anyone who wants to look natural and glowing, things like that, without being too, too shiny. I would not recommend this to anyone who has oily skin unless you're someone with oily skin that embraces it and um, knows how to work with it so that you can continue being, you know, radiant or luminous throughout the day without your makeup sliding off. Because if you don't embrace your oily skin, then you're just going to be working against it. You know what I'm saying? This is a beautiful foundation though. If you want to try it out, please go to Sephora and get yourself a sample before purchasing it because I believe this is $49 as well, like most of the NARS foundations. But, y'all, I mean, it looks really good for as long as I I've had this on for a long time. Anyway, <laughs> wait, let me get an outside opinion. How does my makeup look? Good. <laughs> Reflective. <laughs> Very shiny. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like my video so more people like you can find people like me who create videos like this. <laughs> um, I'm definitely going to do an actual video of me applying the products so that y'all can see what I did and why it wound up lasting this long outside of the formula being the way that it is. But um, I will see y'all next time. So stay safe.